Welcome to Juju's Crafting and Quilts. I'm Juju and this is my little house. I'm so passionate about bringing you simple crafting projects that you can do yourself. Sometimes, especially now, we just need that little thing to enhance the mood of our space. Today, we are going to turn this old clock into a coordinated focal point for our newly painted walls. If you want to see how we repaint it, you can watch this video here. For this project, I will list any of the tools and supplies I use in the description below so you can do it too. Are you ready? Let's get it done. So since this actually has real glass, I want to protect it. I don't want any scratches or anything, so I got a random piece of material to put down. And if you get easily confused like I can when I'm not paying attention and you don't have Big Ben to fix it, just take some pictures along the way of how you took it apart so you don't have to worry about that. So let's go. Now one thing I do is I have a little bag so I don't lose any of my pieces. So now we have it all apart. Um, I took the clock hands off because I have a new face to go on it, on this as well. Uh, this is going to be painted so we have to prep it. This is going to be painted. I'm so excited. I've been waiting so long to do this. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so now you just protect your work area as much as possible and protect your tools because there's nothing like having to fix a tool before you can use the tool. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand this down so I can whitewash it and then we're going to spray paint the center pieces so it looks cute. Now with sanding this down, depending on the look you want, depends on how much you rough it up. The more you rough it, the more rustic it's going to look. This took way longer than I anticipated. And we found a little bit of a, oops, that put some putty in there. But we roughed it up nicely to get, oh, it's so beautiful. I'm having a hard time wanting to paint it now because it, it looks like driftwood now, which is the look I'm going for. But I did a really, what was it, 60 grit sandpaper? and a lot of it, and some help from Deben. It's not perfect and we don't want it perfect. We want it imperfect, because that's the look I'm going for. And I am sweating. So now we're going to wash this off with a damp rag so we can paint it. Then we're gonna wash these off because they got nasty and we're gonna paint our two pieces. So remember you can always add more, you can't take it away. So start with less. So now that we're all sanded, I have three ratios of whitewash paint I want to try out before I put it on there because I want it to look nice and I want it to look how I want it to look. So I have some scrap wood that we're going to use in another project and I'm going to use this rough edge that's just like the rough edge on my clock because I have destroyed it. Yes. Okay. 
So there's the differences in the finishes, which you can't see right off the bat at all. But that, wow. So I have decided I want the three to one ratio. I like how the, the darker parts are coming through because it looks like driftwood. Right now I've just got like a little teeny tiny bit. And if I get too much on like I just did, wipe it off. So long as it's wet, you can still work with it. And I really do have the cheapest paintbrush possible. Look at it. Whitewash will splatter everywhere. Uh, we're gonna let this dry and then I'm going to rough it up a little bit and maybe add another coat if I need it. I love how it's looking. It looks old and weathered. So when I sand it, I wanna bring some of that wood out and I love that, that it was already covered with the dark because that gives it a different dimension. So for the clock face to get the look I want I found one online and had it printed out at the local office supply store and I am going to Mod Podge it onto the clock face. First thing I need to do is make this hole so with the eyelid set from scrapbooking, we're going to do that. If I get it, yeah, I don't There we go. Yeah, I do believe that's going to be a little bit too small. Yeah, a little teeny tiny bit. It's still raised up, so I'm going to make a few little slits. So that works. I am going to trim a little bit of that off so I can get the bolt back on. There. So cheap Mod Podge, unless you find it at the Dollar Tree, is part water, one part glue. I cleaned my brush out really well. It's all stirred up and ready to go. And we're gonna start in the center, work our way out, and that's how we're going to apply it as well. Now I know with mine, my edges are going to cover up what's trying to come up right here. My edges are gonna be covered by the rest of the clock. So I'm not worried about it curling up. So everything is dry and now we get to reassemble and see the final product. Yeah. First we put eyeballs on because now we're old apparently. Now, if y'all like this video, please remember to comment and like and share Please share. That way everybody can enjoy it. I love it so much. It turned out way better than I thought it would. Now, I want to see what you guys can do. Please post your pictures. I want to see what you do. That would be great. Love y'all. Bye.